Small and medium enterprises, or SMEs, contribute significantly to many economies around the world, especially to emerging markets such as our country, Botswana. Statistics show that SMEs represent about 90% of businesses and more than 50% of employment worldwide, where formal SMEs contribute up to 40% to national income, or GDP. According to Africa Portal, SMEs are defined as enterprises that employ 5 to 29 full-time staff for small businesses or 30 to 99 full-time staff for medium enterprises. These figures are slightly different here in Botswana, where a small enterprise are firms with 25 or less full-time employees, where a medium firm has 26 to 99 full-time staff. Although efforts are being made towards making more employment opportunities through the private sector, which includes SMMEs, the government still remains the largest employer in Botswana. Those who work outside of government are employed by the few big corporates found in the country, such as banks, while the rest find themselves in the SME sector. Small as they are, however, SMEs in Botswana contribute about 35% to the country's GDP every year, according to the World Bank. This, however, pales in comparison to such countries as Japan and Malaysia, where SME contribution to GDP is more than 50%. Just in Japan alone, SMEs account for 70% of the country's employment, compared to 60% in other organization for economic cooperation and development countries, where such economies as Poland, France, Australia, New Zealand and others are members. With these indicators, it is clear that the SME sector in Botswana has a potential to create hundreds of thousands and then some jobs. What has been the snag in reaching this goal? We have engaged the expertise of a quantitative analyst at a local bank, Homele Mabasele, who first contextualizes exactly how SMEs contribute to our economy and further explain why a bigger contribution is yet to be realized. SMEs make quite a significant contribution to Botswana's economy. And uh, this is not just the fact isolated to Botswana. I think across the world, we've heard SMEs being referred to as engines of economic growth. And that's because they provide quite significant and important linkages between different sectors of an economy. Um, and beyond just doing that in terms of production, um, SMEs also address employment challenges. So they also contribute quite significantly to household consumption expenditure, for example, in the case of Botswana. And that's not just also isolated to one area. So you find SMEs, if I can just give an example in terms of tourism. So you have, you have an entire ecosystem of businesses that support the tourism sector. For example, in the north, you have your leisure activities and your major camps. But and then you have smaller businesses that are able to then feed off the direct contribution that tourism has, for example, in that area. Mm. So SMEs are important in that respect. So there are smaller companies that then crop up to support the tourism industry. And that speaks to the resilience of SMEs, for example, in terms of finding ways to try and address unemployment challenges by creating meaningful and economically beneficial activities uh, to support major trade uh, within a certain area or locality within our country. Homelimo, while SMEs make quite the contribution to economic growth, um, there's been reports that they've not been, you know, growing to their full potential. So in that regard, what do you think could be some of the hindrances that have impeded um, their growth? There, there are several challenges that, are, that local SMEs find um, the, themselves in. I think one of the key ones is, is obviously not being up to scale to compete with some of our major importers. So there's, there's, there's an issue of them being priced out of the market, for example, in, the, in that um, instance. And this also speaks to uh, the lack of efficiencies in some of their production processes, which doesn't allow them to, to, to grow um, beyond the current scales they're at. Another issue that SMEs might face domestically relates to, to, to the Botswana market. So a population of around 2.4 million people and in the context of sub-Saharan Africa, that's quite a small population size. So it's quite limited um, in terms of the, the, the kind of market that they have access to currently. I know that developments um, currently with the AFCFTA, which will allow Botswana to ramp up its production to address or 
produce for markets beyond our borders. But that will also need um, certain efficiencies and production processes domestically to be addressed um, for us to be able to ramp up to such a scale. You've just been talking about some efficiencies that need to be put into place, right, for certain hindrances to be overcame. But what more do you think could be done as far as, you know, structural reforms, maybe in policy, that could be put in, into place that would allow SMEs to perform at their optimum best and to grow? I think in terms of policies, we have a very good foundation as Botswana. So we have the Citizen Economic Empowerment Pro Policy as well as the Economic Diversification Drive. So it's very clear that we have an idea of how we can try and get local businesses, uh, citizen-owned businesses to participate more in our economy. But I think the issue that we face maybe is that implementation might not be at the level that we need it to be for us to see those kind of results that we envision. And I think that's where, that's where we need to focus as a country in terms of um, implementation um, increased coordination between the private sector and the public sector, as well as engagement as to, you know, what issues need to be addressed to try and provide that market access for, for local businesses, as well as for them to take over maybe some services that have been traditionally offered by government, which will also allow uh, the private sector to play a bigger role in the development of our country. Other issues as well relate to infrastructure. You know, um, businesses need properly functioning infrastructure to operate efficiently. And this speaks to telecommunications, ICT, for example, that's now big in our time, as well as power and water. So we need to get, as well as road infrastructure. So this will help provide access to our businesses across Botswana, as well as outwards um, into, into the region. For example, the recent bridge that was completed, Kazungula, will provide us with access into Zambia and further up north as well as the planned infrastructure that leads uh, to Lopalale, for example, as well. So there's, 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 there's quite a bit that still needs to be done, but I think in terms of planning, uh, we have all the right building blocks. It's just about putting them in the right kind of structure to get the results we need. We wish to encourage all SMMEs in Botswana to realize their value and their significant contribution to the economy and to keep finding innovative ways of survival, especially during difficult times. As per the views expressed by some members of parliament recently, we implore large corporations to reserve some tenders for local SMMEs. We also encourage these large corporations in Botswana to make deliberate decisions to support SMMEs by way of buying local, paying within the shortest period of time to minimize their cash flow challenges, and outsourcing some of their non-core businesses to the SMMEs rather than competing with them. <music>